Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making three Instant Pot breakfast recipes. So my name is Kristen Hills. I am the second sister from Six Sister Stuff. And one of the most common requests that I get lately are breakfast recipes. Now I have a few breakfast recipes, but these ones are a little bit different. We have lots of eggs and some ham and some potatoes and just all kinds of good stuff. Now I just wanna shout out to Crackums for sponsoring this video. This is one of my new favorite things to use in the kitchen. It's perfect for cracking your eggs and then putting your spoon on when you're done. So I'm gonna show you how to use this in these recipes. All right guys, if you're ready, let's get cooking. All right, so the first recipe I'm making today is Instant Pot Ham and Egg Casserole. First you're gonna take about two red potatoes. I chopped them up pretty small so they'd cook pretty evenly and just dump that right into your bowl. Next, we have about a half cup of chopped up cooked ham. I love ham and potatoes and eggs all together. I have about a fourth of an onion we'll just dump in there. And then about a half a cup of cheese. A half a cup to a cup, depending on how much cheese you like. Okay, now we're going to crack my eggs. So like I said before, this is sponsored by Crack'em and we love sharing fun kitchen items that are actually useful in your kitchen. Now I'm excited to show you because I'm so <laughs> cracking eggs is gonna be so much easier with this little guy. So before I would always just like crack it myself, like tap it and crack it. I'd usually have egg on the counter. I'd usually have egg all over my fingers, but this way, like it has such a sharp little edge right there that anything that goes over it will be caught in this little bowl and it cracks it just perfectly so I can get my fingers in there without getting them all gross and eggy, if that makes sense. All right, so you just do a few cracks and you can see that it does this the perfect size of crack. So we're just gonna crack that and just dump it in. So we're gonna do five of these eggs today. See, ah, perfect. Every time, I love it because my kids can use it too and we're not gonna have eggs in our, <laughs> in our dishes. <laughs> all right, then we're gonna take the little whisk and just start mixing it all together. Now, you could have done your egg first. Yes, I know some of you are gonna say that. I like to add my egg last. It's easier for me to chop it up when there's other things in the bowl. Okay, gonna mix this in pretty good. And then we're gonna add about a half a cup of milk on top of it. And then just mix everything all together. Okay, also the other thing I love about these things, because they are, you know, you crack your eggs, but it also is a little holder so it doesn't get your table all gross too. So, multiple uses, I love it. Okay, so I have a spring form pan. You can either spray some cooking spray. I like to use foil because it makes cleanup so much easier. So I'm just gonna take my cooking spray and just put it in my foil so it'll come out easy. Then I'm gonna just take my mixture and just pour it right into this springform pan. Now I'll put a link down below for the springform pan for you um, if, you're, if you're curious which one I'm using. Okay, we'll kinda even it out a little bit. Perfect. Okay, then we're gonna put foil on top of this because we want to keep out as much moisture as possible when we're cooking the casserole. Okay, then we're going to put in one cup of water into our Instant Pot. And then just set this very gently into it. Whoop, there we go. Okay, now it's time to cook it. So we're gonna put the lid on. Now this is a different kind of Instant Pot. I don't have to make sure that the little knob is on sealing or venting, it will automatically do it. If you don't have this kind, this is the Nova, then make sure that your little knob is on sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna push the pressure cook button and we're gonna go up to 45 minutes. Eggs take a little bit longer to cook, especially when they're kind of thick like that. So 45 minutes, your eggs will be cooked all the way through. All right, so once it's all done cooking, you're gonna push this little button or turn your little knob to venting to let all the pressure out. Once the pressure's out, you can safely take off your lid. Carefully, carefully, it's going to be a little hot 
take it out of your Instant Pot. Now, if I were to do this again, I would make like a little foil thing to help me pull it out. But for right now, there we go. We'll just try our hardest. Scooch that over. Okay, pull this off. It's gonna be a little hot. Nice. Okay, we'll see if we can pull this out too. Okay, now you can serve this a few different ways. So you can either like just cut it up and put your favorite things on it like sour cream and salsa, but I love to make breakfast burritos out of it. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. We'll peel this down just a little. Got my little knife and you can literally cut it. It makes your egg stiff as can be, but it makes it perfect for like breakfast burritos. So I just put a little bit of that. You can see the ham, you can see the egg, you can see the potatoes. It just smells so good. Put a little taco sauce on it and then roll it up. This is one of my husband's most favorite breakfasts. Like I said before, he likes it burrito style. So the next recipe is French toast casserole. Now we had this all the time growing up, but I've changed it around a little bit so you can actually cook it in your Instant Pot. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start by cracking our eggs into the bowl. We're gonna crack about five eggs or so. And again, using my handy dandy crack them. I love this little guy. As you can see. All right, make sure that you break the yolks pretty good. This one is you do not want thick eggs, you want it to be thin. Next, we're gonna add one cup of milk. See my balancing skills. Okay, so once your milk and eggs are nice and smooth, then you're gonna add just a little bit of things. So you're gonna add about a half teaspoon of vanilla, about a fourth a cup of white sugar. Now, you can add this if you want to, I like having that sweetness to my French toast. It makes it kind of like get that, that stickiness, which I love in French toast. And then we're just gonna add about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Just kind of mix that gently in. So now you're gonna grab a bowl so you can kind of mix everything together. So we're gonna put our half of a loaf of French bread that I cut into like kind of small bite-sized pieces. Just dump those right in. And then you're gonna put your French toast sauce, whatever you wanna call it, the egg mixture, and just dump it right on top. There we go. You wanna mix those around just a little bit. And you wanna let this sit for about 10 minutes before we're gonna dump it back into this bowl and ready to cook. All right, just making sure all, every piece of bread has some egg mixture in it. So it'll be good. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's been in about 10 minutes or so. Now we are going to actually use the same bowl. Now if you have like a spring form pan or any kind of pan that will work in your Instant Pot, you can use that. But I wanted to show you that you could easily use just a plain glass bowl. Just make sure it's thick enough that it won't break in the Instant Pot. So we're just gonna dump this right into this bowl. There we go. I am gonna use my fingers. Just press it down. There we go. Okay, next, we're just gonna make sure we cover it with foil because we don't want any extra liquid coming into our French toast. There's enough liquid in there, we don't want water. So, we're just gonna cover this all up. Okay. And then on the bottom of the Instant Pot, we're gonna add one cup of water just because we need that liquid so it will cook and pressurize. Now I like using the little trivets because the one with the high handles will make it a little bit easier for myself to put in, to put my mixture in and to also take it out. All right, so once it's in, you're gonna go ahead and put on your lid. There we go and then make sure this little knob is turned to sealing, not venting, if you have one. All right, then we're gonna push the pressure cook or the manual button, depending on what you have, and we're going to go up to, oh, it's already there, 25 minutes. Once you set the timer, you can just walk away, and yeah, we'll just wait for it to cook. 
Once all your timer is done, go ahead and turn your little knob to venting to let all the pressure out. Now I already got all the pressure out here so I can just carefully lift my lid. Oop. Oh, it smells good. Okay, then I'm just gonna pull this out. Ooh, it's hot. One, two, three. There we go. Scoot just to the side. I'm excited to show you guys. Nice. All right, it is all done. Eggs are cooked. I'm just going to take some of this out for you guys so you can see it. I love French toast casserole. Let's we'll put it right here. I love the little, I love that it's already in little bites, so it's ready to go. Okay. Now you can put on whatever you want. I love to put on just a little bit of syrup and a little bit of whipped cream and then just a little bit of strawberries. Now you can put them all around or you can put them just right on top too. So, all right, there you go. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this is recipe number three. It's called Instant Pot Breakfast Hash. And this is one of my favorites because I love potatoes. So we're gonna start with sauteing a little bit. So whatever Instant Pot you have, they all have a saute button. So just make sure you push saute. Okay, now that it's all hot, we're gonna add just one tablespoon of olive oil. Kind of mix that around in there. I also like to take my bowl out and kind of, you know, wiggle it around, cover that oil all on the bottom. All right, so right now we're just gonna cook the bacon and the vegetables. So we have my olive oil in, it's all nice and hot, and we're just gonna dump in the bacon. Next, we're just gonna add the onions. So let's see, half pound of bacon, half of an onion, and then one red pepper, and then one green pepper. And we're just gonna mix this around until the bacon and the vegetables are, are pretty much cooked through. All right, so once everything's all pretty cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes. So I have about a pound. I like to use these small yellow potatoes because you can just literally chop them right in half and it's super simple. So they're washed and they're cut and they'll cook a little bit faster if they are cut. All right, so then we're gonna add just a little bit of seasoning. So we have like a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. I love paprika. I especially love smoked paprika. You could do that too. Just put that in there. And then about a half teaspoon of cumin. Mm, I love cumin too. Then just a little bit of salt and pepper, however much you want, about a teaspoon or so. Okay, we're gonna mix this around just a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna add about two thirds cup of some chicken broth, just cause we need that liquid so it will pressurize. There we go. Mix that around just a tad and we are ready to cook. Okay, so when you're ready, first you wanna push the cancel button and stop your saute. Then you're gonna go ahead and put your lid on. There we go, make sure this little knob, if you have a knob, is turned to sealing, not venting. Then we're gonna push the pressure cook button. And because the potatoes are cut in half, you only have to cook it for about eight minutes. So we're just gonna go up. Actually, we're gonna go down to eight minutes. So once you set the timer, you can just walk away. So when the timer beeps, you can turn the little knob to venting to let all the pressure out. <laughs> all right, all pressure's out. You can go ahead and open your lid. Oh, if you guys can see this. I wish you could smell it. It looks so good. Okay, so you have a few options. So you can push saute again and get all the liquid out, or you can just like, just dish it right out just like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna dish it right out, put our potatoes and our bacon and our peppers and all that good breakfast stuff, just like that, okay. So you can serve like an egg on top of it. That's what we like to do. Yes, I am gonna use my fingers. And then just a little bit of parsley too on top. And this is one of my husband's favorite, favorite 
breakfast recipes. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Now, if you want more breakfast recipes, you can check out those right there. And I'd love if you guys would check out Crackums. It's my new favorite kitchen tool. I'll put a link down below in the description for you. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.